We traditionally open our calendar application, we scroll down, add an event, and maybe share it with somebody else. And this has pretty much been the calendar experience for many people over the last couple of years. But Hey Calendar wants to change that with their Marmite-like approach to unique calendar management and even habit tracking and time tracking within the application. Today, they introduced their Hey Calendar to the world, bundling it in with the Hey Email experience. And it is getting a mixed reviews, some people really loving it and other people not really finding the benefit of it. But I think it's a very unique calendar approach that I think is super interesting in the market as we are going forward to changing our approaches to productivity software. So, Hey Calendar is now available on iOS, Android, and via the web version of Hey. And what it allows you to do is very simply manage your calendar. Now, before we get into the unique calendar approach that they have, I want to talk about the fact that they've got habits and time tracking. Yes, inside of Hey, you can actually add little icons to the top of each of your page that allows you to track your habits. Habit tracking is actually really easy to manage and it's literally just clicking an icon if you've completed the habit and you can track the habit more effectively through the menu in the habits area. And this is a really nice companion experience inside of the Hey application because habits are sort of time orientated and that's really nice to see the streaks and progress whilst in your calendar experience. On the other side, you've also got time tracking as well, which allows you to start any time track session and add a label to it, which makes it really perfect for maybe even freelancers, maybe even those who want to see where they're spending their time, time blocking as a technique. And even for many people, this is a great way to just keep an eye on how productive they're being. And you can manage that all inside the time tracking area, even exporting it, which makes it great for sending to the boss at the end of the day. Now, the unique calendar approach that Hey has. There's only two of them, day and week view. The day view is very much different. On the desktop version, you scroll horizontally, which allows you to get a different perspective on your time. It's really nice. It's definitely something that I found really easy to get started with. And to be honest, a lot of people will like it because it changes the perspective you have on calendar. There's some unique features in here that are really nice, like the sometime this week, which allows you to drag your events and tasks that you might have that maybe even not have dates yet into your system quite easily. And the ability to even start time tracking, track your habits from here and see nighttime is really nice perspective, which can all be changed inside of settings. Now there is a week view if you want something in between what a typical day view looks like and a week view. It's sort of a blend between the two, but a very nice ability. And it's very much quite clustered in its design, allowing you to add images for important events, circle events that are particularly important and you want to highlight, and even set deadlines, allowing you to see an upcoming deadline, maybe for a work project, or maybe for an important countdown towards a date that you are setting in the future. So this is really nice for a lot of people. They want to be able to see their habits, time track, and manage a calendar without having to manage it, if that makes sense. Being able to manage your habits and time tracking in one is actually really nice, but they make it very seamless, in my opinion. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure a lot of people will get on with the horizontal calendar. Definitely took me a few looks to actually properly go, okay, this is different, this is, this is interesting. And I particularly like the week view for planning in uh, detail because I think it has a nice way to see your time going down and even block in there. But to be honest, a lot of people will find this a very unique approach to calendar management. So how do I get my hands on Hey Calendar? Well, very simply, it's available through the Hey subscription. Now, if you're not aware of Hey, it's called Hey Email. We've done a review on Tool Finder if you fancy diving into it. But basically, it's an email application with some unique approaches to email, very much like the calendar application. But it allows you access to it for, well, for free under their $99 subscription. So if you pay the subscription, you'll get access to the calendar at no additional cost, which means you get email and calendar in one experience. And if you know somebody that's got a Hey account, then you can share events and calendar and allow them access to your calendar, which is really helpful. 
So for a lot of people, this might not be your taste, but it's definitely a great movement forward in the calendar market. And bundling under an email experience that is already priced fairly reasonably with what you get is actually a really good deal in my opinion. This application is something that I give my thumbs up to, and I'm looking forward to seeing whether Hey Notes is on the cards in the future. Thank you very much for staying tuned today. If you want to find productivity tools, you know where to go. Head over to Tool Finder and you can find all the productivity software you need, including reviews on Hey Calendar and Hey Email. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you all very soon.